13 Action News Update, sponsored by Silver State Schools Credit Union. I'm Ross DiMatteo right now in your 13 Action News Update. Today, Nevada is seeing a startling amount of COVID-19 cases, new cases, I should say. The state is now reporting 3,159 new cases and 1,414 hospitalizations in the past 24 hours. That's the highest number of single-day coronavirus cases since the start of this pandemic. And it's also the first time that we have ever seen more than 3,000 new cases reported in a single day here in Nevada. And health officials say every minute a new case is confirmed and every two hours there is a COVID-19 death related, uh, a COVID-19 related death here in Nevada. Nearly 2,100 people have now lost their lives in our state to COVID-19. And tomorrow, Catholic Charities of Southern Nevada is planning to feed more than 1,000 homeless and vulnerable members of our community. Meals are going to be distributed from 10 to 11 in the morning at the newly built outdoor pavilion on the CCSN campus. They are going to be giving out 400 pounds of turkey and 1,300 pumpkin pies and so many more holiday staples. And a Clark County judge has denied Dan Rodimer's petition for a revote. The Republican congressional candidate was looking to overturn the win for the incumbent Democrat, Representative Susie Lee. Rodimer wanted a new election after claims of irregularities on several ballots. The judge, though, dismissing the case, saying his court does not have the jurisdiction to issue a new election. Rodimer lost to Lee by about 12,000 votes. Seasonally cool and calm heading into the rest of your Wednesday temperatures today, landing right near normal in the low 60s. A lot of sunshine to enjoy. Big changes do work in as we head into tomorrow, though. You're not going to notice much of an uptick in wind speed tonight, although it will be quite chilly with overnight lows falling to the low 40s ahead of tomorrow. But even by daybreak tomorrow, we do expect those gusty winds to pick up with a wind advisory for the Colorado River Valley in the Las Vegas Valley. Wind gusts up to about 30 miles per hour. That helps to bring in slightly cooler air with highs capped in the upper 50s both Thursday and Black Friday, but we do expect the mostly sunny skies to continue. Danny, thanks. That was your 13 Action News update, and you can always get the latest news at KTNV.com. Have a great rest of your day.